everybody, welcome back. Bash University TV Live. We're here at the 2017 ICAST show. It's the greatest show in, in the history of the world as far as sport fishing goes. And right now, I'm sitting next to one of the greatest anglers in FLW history. A uh, good friend of mine, Scott Suggs. How are you, buddy? Hey, I'm doing great. And like you said, it's always it's always awesome to get to come to the ICAST show. You get to get out here and you get to see things that are new for the market for next year. And hey, sometimes, you know, on those early tournaments we get a little of it you know, a little bit of an advantage because right. we get a hold of stuff first. Yeah. Because the if you're in the right group and you walk up to the booth at the right time, you get the samples of the new That's stuff. That's exactly right. Because it's not for sale, but they've got a few extras just kicking exactly around. Exactly right. Plus, you get to see the new ideas coming before everybody else gets to see them. And I'm real bad to leave one of these seeing a certain thing or a certain bait or something, and I dwell on it for months. So when the season comes around, I'm ready for that bait, and I'm ready to make my presentations with it. So it's pretty exciting. I love being here. Yeah, it, it's fun being here, and there's there's so much new stuff. Did you did you happen to see any of the new baits out there? I've not got to walk yet. It's yeah. day one, yeah. and I've got so many obligations to different sponsors mm -hmm. and everything that I'm really tied up hard today. But this time tomorrow, I'll probably know quite a bit. Yep. Well, there's a there's a couple of real good ones one's the rapala rip stop that i really like it's a finesse jerk bait that stops on it's, a dime yeah it's pretty it's pretty neat little concept and there's a lot of a lot of great stuff and we're going to be we're going to be showing it to everybody right here uh at bash university tv live because they're going to be giving away the awards for the winners tomorrow that's right but um but you and i are both with a great company called popticals that's right and they build some of the best sunglasses in the world that we use to compete out there and they've got some new products here this year yeah they've changed some lens i mean some frames you know we've got some different frames they've brought out a couple new ones and <clears throat> one of my deals you've done it all your life i know i've done it all the bass anglers have gone out and we've tried different glasses over the years and how many times have you stood on a trolling motor kind of crossed your arms like this and covered one side of your head right. at the edge of that to keep light getting in and around mm -hmm. sun uh, you know frames different frames well the pop h2 i mean the pop h2o is a new lens that they have i mean a new frame i'm sorry this one has copper lens in it uh that's the color of them and they're zeiss lenses which are super lightweight they're as clear almost as clear as true glass i mean mm -hmm. They're the, an unbelievable lens. and uh, But they have three different colors. This one's copper. We've got brown. We've got gray, which are the darker ones. And one of my most favorite, you know, of all the lenses, I like a brown a lot, mm -hmm. but I do like the copper. And a brown lens seems like when you see a fish out there, it will it'll, it'll uh, kind of highlight, make that fish look more green, stand him out. So you're looking at a bed but also, if you see the fish first, he stands out because he's got a little bit of a green glow to him. So with these new lenses, or frames, I mean, I'm sorry, when I put these on, what's so amazing is I don't have to worry about this side view anymore. You've right. got a pair. Try them on yep. right there. Yep. And, and we don't have to do this anymore. We don't have to cover the side of our head. We can look and cover a lot of water comfortably mm -hmm. that way. You see what I'm talking about? Absolutely. It's got full coverage. It. it, it you know, you don't have to use your hands. You don't need the blocks because the glasses take care of it for you. Because what will happen is you get that light penetration behind the lens, That's and right. it's going to reduce your visibility. It's going to reduce your ability to isolate that fish from the cover. And uh, these glasses are either brand new, Pop HTO by Popticals. And, uh, man, I, I really like the feel of these new frames. I do, too. The way they fit your nose, the way they fit everything, it's just like they're made to fit your head. And and I've we've tried them on around a number of people around, and every person that's tried this frame on said the exact same thing. And, uh, you know, and we've got another one out Um Hang on just a minute. I've got that one. I want to show. I want to show this right quick. Okay. You know what's so cool about these glasses here is we also have this protective storage cases for them and everything, where we have no scratch lens when we're when we're traveling or hauling them in our boat, rough water or whatever. If you're if if you don't have them on, 
But when you do have them on or you get ready to put them on, get ready to put them up, they're so simple the way they work. Just fold them, slide these, lay them down, and they'll go right into the case. And then it's the same thing. When you get ready to take them out, pull them apart, raise them. They're so easy. The cool thing about it is what it says, pack small, live big. That's the popticals and saying right there. Absolutely. And, and I mean, sunglasses will break. I break a... I break them all the time because they're cumbersome. They don't fold up. They don't get into that small case like the Popticals does. And, and you don't break them because of it. It protects the sunglasses, and you, you get them in that case, and that's you, right. can, you can fit it in your pocket. Uh, so it, it's a, that's an amazing feature that no other sunglasses have. That's right. It is. And, I mean, they're so easy to store. They're so easy to pull apart and put back, you know, open them up or close mm -hmm. them up and everything. And my biggest deal – is when I'm not wearing them, I've got a bad, bad problem of laying them somewhere and either sitting on them, stepping on, especially when I'm rigging a bait or something like that, and being able to put them up. And that storage really saves the life of them. It, it absolutely does, and we love them. Uh, go check out Popticals. You can check them out at Tackle Warehouse now. Uh, go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, and you and you can uh, find Popticals and. And, and most, uh, you know, when people think of optics, you know, they usually are thinking about bed fishing right. for spawning fish. And, and that's certainly the best way uh, or a great way to use them. But I'm telling you, if you're bass fishing, you need to be able to have a good set of glasses that you can penetrate that water no matter what the season. Because you got to be able to see those grass edges, stumps, uh, rocks. Anything that Anything. you can identify, it's going to help you become a better angler. Anything. It's important to have a good lens. And, you know, I mean, not only that is some people like to be colorful. <laughs> you know, they like to they like to stand out. <laughs> I've got a jersey on. It's got yeah. a lot of green on it and everything. Yeah. And they've got even a matching pair for me. <laughs> Look here, the pop storm. Look at the yeah. colors of this, lens, yeah. of this frame. Yeah, they're pretty wild. I mean, and I like it. There's other colors for it and everything, yeah. and, and it's just whichever one you like. It stands out. This this pair, you know, it fits your, it fits your face great. It's got that good sturdy feeling, strong feeling with them, and it's another great new frame that we have with Popticals. That's awesome. I, I want, I, I'm going to have to work with them on the, the blue and blue and orange exactly. uh, frame. We'll get some custom frames coming for Popticals real soon. Exactly. We'll get those I, I Bash like University colors. Yeah. Exactly. See, I don't know anything about standing out. My partner, uh, Ike and Elliot, I work with, is very calm and reserved, and we don't we don't often uh, get involved with anything over the top like that. But uh, but no, they're great great glasses. I, I want to invite all you guys to check it out. And I took some notes here because there's a really cool contest coming up, and uh, I want to invite you guys to go uh, register for it at popticals.com backslash fish with sugs. Popticals.com backslash fish with sugs, and they're going to have a chance to go fishing with you. Exactly. It's a it's a giveaway trip. We're going to give it away at the end of November. Is going to be the drawing on it. And, uh, hey, we're going to get together. Hopefully we can work it out to where it's a certain time, a certain part of this, maybe even where I live, whatever's you know, we have to work out to make it work out with whoever wins. And, uh go on a really great fishing trip make sure hopefully it's one of those times that the fish are that are really wanting to jump in a boat or if nothing else maybe one of those times that you're on the beds that's yeah, even more of a reason to go and, see and use the pop that sounds like the time to to have that trip exactly so, so go check that out at popticals.com backslash fish with sugs get yourself entered into that contest and uh boy you you know you've got some fishing that's coming up here scott you've got a uh, you got a big derby coming up in a few weeks. Yeah, we've got the Forest Wood Cup coming up on uh, Lake Murray over in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, the first day of the competition is on uh, August 11th is when it starts. So, you know, it's a deep, clear water lake. It's a It's been well known all these years for a great fishery and everything. But it's also a time of the year coming up that we all are familiar with and we call the dog days of summer. Right. And it really makes fishing tough for that time of the year. And it doesn't matter where you're at, you know, unless you're up north somewhere. Um, it, it's it's really tough in the south that time of the year. So I'm sure it's going to be a tough tournament. But I've always said myself, those are the ones I like. 
right? Well, they're, I guess uh, I've said it too. They, they can be the easiest tournaments to win That's because right. if you can figure something out, that's right. You're gonna, you're just gonna walk away from the field. And that's the th- another thing about it is a lot of times when those tournaments are really tough, you don't have to have the great big giant bags, you know, mm-hmm. like record setting bags. You can go out and get away with a bad day along, and uh, of one of the three days could be, you know, below par, right. and still win the tournament. Mm-hmm. So that's what I like about tough events. And the field be on, being a smaller than a normal tour event and everything, that even gives you a better chance. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I bet you are. And it's an interesting that you said that about not having a limit or not having a good day. Um, I heard an interesting stat from Ken Duke over at Bassmasters. Oh, about half of the Bassmasters classics have been won with that by guys that didn't catch limits every day that's exactly right and then i won the forest wood cup in 2007 Mm -hmm. and i had limits the first day the second day the third day the fourth day i weighed in two and still won by four pounds so i mean that's 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 my point in the whole deal just like you're talking about that that's why we call them tough tournaments why do you suppose it is in the championships is it the pressure that causes guys to struggle to get five every day? Or well, I think a lot of it has to do with the pressure, but you get a lot of people like the Kevin Van Dams that has won so many times. Um, you get people like that that are the Tiger Woods of bass fishing that, that they don't show that pressure. Right. They've been there so many times, and, and it's happened, done so many times that they don't really show it. But you look at the ones that haven't either won. We've had a lot of new winners in both FLW and the Bassmasters, you know, over the years. And and it's just – it seems like it's more pressure. Yeah. You, you hit it on the head. It seems like it's more pressured. And the other thing about the Forestwood Cup, if you look back and go through the history of it, there's never been a two-time winner. Is that true? Never been a two-time winner in the Cup. I didn't know that. So – we're going to try to change that this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me let me, uh, let me go to the um, deal. We just we just launched a seminar that you gave on catching suspended fish, and you're you've been very successful at that over your career. And you gave an amazing seminar um, and busted James Watson's chops <laughs> in the process, which is just always a bonus. And um, <laughs> but right. the um, so I want to invite you guys to check that out. Do you think suspended fish are going to be a factor at Murray? Suspended fish are going to be – it's going to be one one of two ways. It's going to be one on the bank, shallow resident fish that live on the bank and somebody figures out how to catch them. And the only other thing that can happen is suspend fish. Those fish, that's a blueback lake. There's fish live suspended year-round there. And figuring those out or figuring out a resident bass that lives on the bank. There's one of two things. It's not going to be one in between. Wow. Well, if it goes suspend fish, I'm certain I think you'll be at the top of everybody's fantasy picks. Well, I'm hoping so because that's, <laughs> the, that's the direction I'm looking right now. <laughs> I, I imagine so. Well, you, you also just wrapped up some MLF stuff, right? Oh, yeah. We just got through with MLF Select. So, uh, you know, hey, this year's really – it's amazing. Other than a few coasters that are left here and there and a few bass opens and stuff, this year's wrapping up. Yeah. I mean, and it seems like it just started a couple of weeks ago. So it's it's been a fast, furious season. You do, you fish a lot, don't you? I, mean, I do, I do. How about how many tournaments are you fishing a year now? Well, it's not really the amount of tournaments that I'm fishing in a year. It's the amount of time that I try to spend focused on uh, shows, focused on wherever I can go and speak, wherever I can do a, uh, anything I can do for my sponsors. We're working on new baits. We're working on something constantly. So... When I'm not at a tournament, I get a few, a little bit of time at home, but the other times I'm still traveling, doing sponsor obligations, and that's what makes it all. That's what makes us where we're at now, and I, I, that's where we owe our careers to is sure. because without them, we're not able to be out here and do it. Absolutely, and, that, and that's what's – that's what a lot of what uh, being here at ICAST is about for uh, for guys like you, guys like me that are in the, right. in the in the business world, and we can help companies uh, at here at ICAST showcase their products, 
uh, and 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 that's what's going on here right now. Exactly. And that keeps you running and gunning between that, the tournaments, uh, right. and everything else. People don't realize what goes into to being a professional angler, but you're certainly living it and you're doing real well doing it. And I want to, um, I'm I'm going to let you go here in just a second, Scott. But I want to, I want to do this one more time, and I want to invite people to go to popticals.com backslash fish with sugs. Uh, you're going to enter yourself into a contest, a chance to fish with Scott, um, and that will be great. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some, maybe a couple pairs of popticles involved in that in that giveaway too. I'm not sure. I'm sure there probably <laughs> will be. And you know, hi. All I'm thinking about is we'll get out there. No matter what, we're going to have them on. <laughs> if it's a sight fishing deal, we're going to look at them. If it's not a sight fishing deal, we're going to look at what we're throwing at. Yep. We will. The popticles will play a role in it. I promise. <laughs> and I, Brian the Carpenter's pointing at me, but I don't know what he's saying because I can't read his lips. <laughs> Talk to me, brother. Who are you, Pete? I am Pete Gluzak, bitches. Wearing my popticle sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate all you guys uh, tuning in um, to, to be with us here at ICAST. We want to wish Scott best of luck at the upcoming FLW championship. Hope you win it. Ho you, I know you're going to look sharp doing it. I'm going to try. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Who's coming up next, Brian? We're coming right back with somebody. Somebody. Uh... Nick Wiley from the Florida Fish and Wildlife. Excellent. Excellent. Look forward to talking to Nick. Going to be talking about more fish conservation in the state of Florida. Don't want to miss that. And we'll be back with more throughout the day here at the 2017 ICAST Show. I'm Pete Gluzak for Bass University TV Live.